Installing a Gateway with Identity as a Service To install a gateway, you must log in. Alice Admin is our administrator, and her login is set up to require a one-time password. Alice will receive this one-time password on the phone contact registered with her account. Alice can now log in to Identity as a Service. From the Getting Started wizard, select Register a Gateway. First, the Identity as a Service Gateway VM should be downloaded. In this demonstration, we will show VMware setup. Close the window once the download completes. Now the gateway definition must be added to Identity as a Service. Provide it with a meaningful name and click Add. A pop-up will appear with the registration code that will be required when you install the gateway in your infrastructure. Select the appropriate version of the gateway for registration and click the Copy to Clipboard icon to copy the code. Click Close to close the window. A new gateway will be listed. Copy the OVA file to a system within your local network and open the VM. Identify the location for the VM and click Import. The Import Virtual Machine window appears. Click to agree to the license agreement. The progress of the import is presented and when finished, the gateway is available. The gateway is ready to be powered on. You can proceed through the initialization in the terminal window or use the graphical interface. To use a graphical interface, open a Chrome browser and navigate to the URL listed. Enter the username as Entrust and the password as Entrust for the first time you log in. Ensure you select Reuse My Password for Privileged Tasks. You will be asked to change the password Click Get Started to set up the gateway. Confirm the host name and IP. Confirm the time settings. If access to the internet can be established, a notification will indicate so. Paste in the code we copied from the gateway setup. Review the details that were completed. Click Register to register the gateway. The registration will continue. Once completed, the status will be registered. Once the gateway is set up within the internal network, the gateway with an identity as a service will show as connected. The gateway instance details will be presented. If you're using the wizard, the gateway icon will now show a check mark indicating that the step has been completed. Please see our library support content or contact our world class support team any time of the day, no matter where you are, for more immediate assistance.